welcome back. Hey, volleyball's cool. That doesn't have anything to do with this game, but it has everything to do with the game I was watching last night. Um, so, it's only been like two or three days since, uh, since I played this, and I've already forgotten because I spent so much of my mental resources on uh, Bellatro and have purchased it. Jesse and I collectively have purchased that game four times. Twice for us and twice for friends. And still spent less than one copy of Skull and Bones. That's smart shopping. Anyway, yeah. Volleyball was... Hey. 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 Oh, I guess you just... I was gonna buy stuff from you, but that's fine. So yeah, um... It was cool. It was, uh... We won. It was the uh, first win in the history of the franchise because they played two games on the road in uh, Michigan and Florida and uh, lost both of those. And so we got to be in attendance for their first win ever. And then they had an autograph section. Uh, they had, they were throwing uh, little mini volleyballs out in the uh, out into the crowd. And we, we got one. And then after the game, they had an autograph session. And we got the ball signed by, like, three of the girls. One of whom I'm pretty sure is, like, my favorite player on the team already. She's the, she's the libero. And so, like, if you're not familiar with volleyball, like, the libero is the short one who is primarily defensive and they're not allowed to like spike the ball over the net, but they are really, really good at keeping the ball from hitting the ground. And she's just all over the place. She's gotta be like, she's gotta be like five, five or something like that. And she like, she just throws her body around and just like, there's a ball that doesn't look like it anyone can get to it it's coming it's like flying down at the ground at like 100 miles an hour and she's just there like boom pops it back up in the air like fucking superhero shit working on it. This is going to be a this is going to be a gross link, but Oh, this is better. Just her player page. That's her. She's 5'6". Yeah, no, she's just, like... You watch her warming up, and she's just, like, doing, like... She's, like, bumping the ball up off the ground and then just doing somersaults and getting back to her feet, like... Sport Goblin is close. Yes. The short one in a in a game full of tall people. I mean, the middle blockers on the team are like six seven. So. Uh, 
It was cool too, like for a brand new team in a brand new league in a sport that's not like, why is there a baseball man? Why is there a baseball man? You can go to Dondoko Island. Kenji Gorchov. I feel like he's from six. I feel like he has to be from six. Like when, when Kiryu was managing the baseball team. That's gotta be it. Yeah, what was really cool is like, we watched them, uh, we went and watched them practice. And, um, we went and watched the practice and then we watched their away games on YouTube. Um, oh, hey, guy. And if I'm being honest, they, like... Yes. They kind of look sloppy. Like, you could tell they weren't used to playing together. They weren't, like, getting the ball to each other. Like, they just didn't look very good. And it's that kind of, like, you don't know what to expect because all of the teams are new. Everything is new. And, like... I didn't follow any of these players from college or anything like that, and I know very little about volleyball in general. But it's kind of like, uh-oh, do we suck? It looks like we might suck. I hope we don't suck. We went yesterday and like, they won the first set like 25 to 12 or something like that. And I was like, oh shit, we don't suck. All right, cool. Yeah, it was just a really good atmosphere. And then we're like over. Yeah. I I I caught myself, but in fact, the number was over nine thousand, which isn't like a sellout, but for like a brand new women's pro volleyball league in the middle of Ohio or like a team in the middle like a team in the middle of Ohio in a brand new league a brand new team in a sport that's not one of the big sports in this country a turnout of 9,100 people is really good like it felt like a full ass crowd Ew. So that makes me happy, not just because, like, I want this team and this league to do well just because I think volleyball is cool, but also just for women's sports in general. To be able to, like, actually draw a crowd and, and, and be seemingly successful. Like, I want that. I mean, there are apparently pockets in the U.S. where volleyball has, like, a lot of popularity. Apparently, they got, like, 90,000 people into the uh, into a stadium for, like, the college volleyball finals in Omaha. And I guess that was, like, the catalyst to them being, like, there's a lot of people that want to watch volleyball. We should make a league for this. Aww. That's cool. Man, I I love like local like small intramurals like sports leagues and stuff like that. That's always really cool to me. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we bought shirts 
and we got free swag and we got a little mini volleyball and then we got signatures on it and the team won and it was the first win ever that the team has ever had and it was just an all-around good time and on Monday we get to go again so shout outs in advance no stream on Monday this is gonna keep happening. There's gonna keep being days where like, there's gonna not be streams cause volleyball. So catching us up on this side story, um, Matthew here uh, is, uh, he, he plays the ukulele and got popular and stuff. But he used to do some kind of cringy thrash metal shit about nature. And, um, and part of the act was that he would wear, like, a necklace of potatoes to make him feel more, make him feel more nature-y. And now, like, people tease him for being cringe about how cringe he was. And the kids are like, hey, that's the potato guy. And he's like, oh, fuck. Oh, I was so cringe. I want that. I want nobody to ever remember that. And, um, and that's the last thing I remember. Huh? Yeah, apparently everybody did a did a stint being guar for one song. That fucking hell stew shit is stupid. That song is terrible. Hi. All right, we're gonna throw a concert at the beach. Concert at the beach. I'll kill you. Hey. That sounds fun. Yeah. Um. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Are you Golem Gunwolf? His name was Golem Gunwolf. By the way. <laughs> Is this kid gonna call him unsavory potato names or something to mess with him? I'll keep a close. You'll keep a close eye on him and what? If he says potato, are you gonna throw him in traffic? I've always been a big fan. Golem Gunwolf rocks! Nobody has ever said that to me before. Um, Chaos, which one? I used to listen to you at the empty parking lot. God, that's a dire sentence. I'd love to hear you play Wild Rock again sometime, Mr. Golem. Sorry, kid. Golem Gunwolf is dead. What? I go by Matt Tropico now. The man you know as Golem Gunwolf no longer exists. Wow, way to... Way to really ease him into it. Uh. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry for bringing that up. That wasn't, that was a fuck you kid. <sighs> that kid earlier, you mean the one just now? That wasn't earlier. Maybe I should talk to him. Oh, you know, yeah. 
Okay, I met that guy and started his, uh, and started his side quest, but I haven't actually done anything with it yet. I still actually have to go over here, which is pretty close, so let's do that now. We're good. You didn't you didn't spoil anything. I just forgot. You know, I don't mind taking the segways around town. I just It doesn't feel that much faster than running. Like, it's, it is faster, but it's not faster in a way that's, like, satisfying. Ooh. So, that was the sound of someone throwing their back out. So, it was. Hey, buddy. You okay? Um. Try to carry it, my damn back. This box. I know. I'm an old fool. You think you could take me somewhere I could sit? I thought he was gonna ask me to like lug the box around um. somewhere, which he is going to do. But it'd be weird if he doesn't tell his life story first. Falling over like this, no way to die! Bug up that. So we're not dying, sir. Just stay still. Oh. I'm surprised they even bothered to have him have a laying down animation. That's much better. Thank you for carrying me and my stuff. Ghost man. Heavy old heifer. Ain't she? Don't worry about it. I am big and strong, and at 45 years old, my back is in perfect shape after 18 years of prison. No, Chaos, see, I agree that in real life world, being like, ah, oh, shit, my back. Can you get me somewhere where I can, like, stretch out my back? This really hurts. Would be priority one. However, RGG logic is sometimes, ah, oh, fuck my back. Can you carry this to the other side of the city for me? It has to be there in under two minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm actually pleased that we're taking things in a in a more logical direction here. You're a goodin'. What's your name, friendo? Take if you're not from around here. Oh. Ichiban Kasuga, and I'm Japanese. I just got here recently. Hey. My name's Thomas. Sorry to waste your precious vacation time nursing an old man. This is not anywhere close to the dumbest thing I've done since I got here. Don't worry about it at all. Shouldn't push yourself so hard. What is that, what is that all that? Is it important? Ah. Work tools. Just headed home and thought I still had it in me to haul them all myself. Normally the missus gives me a ride, but she had a conflict to schedule today. It'd be good exercise, I thought. That'll learn me. Yeah, take a taxi maybe. What kind of work do you do? Huh. Look in there and find out for yourself. It won't answer the question at all. It'll just give a visual and then I can start to explain it. How did you fuck your back up carrying a hat? A hat, a necklace, and a staff. I swear. Hang on. 
I'm pretty sure this is the continuation. I'm pretty sure this is the continuation of the find a way to make it storm storyline. Are we literally going to do a rain dance? Also, I'm starting to get mesmerized at this man rubbing his back. It's starting to look a bit sensual. You some kind of street performer? Yeah. No! I'm a shaman! That's what I use for my rituals. What? Ah. A shaman! Never heard of one? Foretell prophecies, conduct sacred ceremonies, commune with elemental spirits. Let this one linger. Majika. Oh, you're like a you're like a real life monk. <laughs> yeah, of course this is the of course this is his parallel. I suppose Shaman King would have probably started and ended while he was in prison. I don't know what that means, but sure, maybe. Hey. That's cool. You do magic? It doesn't seem mystical. Ah. I'm a bit different from most other shamans. The other ones are probably like wizards. My specialty is the air itself what they call a wind shaman. I once saved farmer's entire crop of grain by restarting his windmill. That just sounds like engineering, honestly. And another time, a young woman's hat got stuck on a tree. She cried till I blew it down for her. It's funny, even though I'm capable of seeing the future and speaking to the dead, most press I get are wind-related. So you can, like, control the weather? Huh? Didn't somebody need something like that? Well, my back is all better now. You can tell because the camera panned up to where my sitting position was before you scrolled the text box forward to let me actually get up. Call the missus and have her pick me up. She won't be no. long now. Hey, could I ask you a favor? Oh. We're really going to roll up to this. We're really going to roll up to this rock dude and be like, I have brought you an airbender. Tell me the lot of numbers. God damn. Damn it. Oh, Kazami evolution. That's what it is. Sky looks absolutely clear. No chance of one coming on naturally. But maybe we could ruin the vacation of thousands of people so that these guys can shoot a music video. And we can use magic to do it. Nah. Could we get a storm? Oh. What? Passion go up for reason. Oh. This is Japanese rock singer over at a little beach right now. He came here to shoot a music video in front of a stormy ocean, but the ocean, but the ocean isn't stormy. He's out of money. Please help. Oh. I've never called on the spirits to assist with a music video. I really don't think you'd have died. Like, I really don't. Although, I suppose it is hot. However, huh? 
But to save my back then, I may not be able to perform the ritual myself. You'll have to do it instead. Eh? I'll serve as catalyst once you summon the spirits. I can entreat them to create your storm. <sighs> Is this really the only way? Who the? Oh, right. The wife. Yeah. Hey, you good? Huh? Wait, what weeb drop? What weeb knowledge did I drop? Oh, I see. This was that was a precursor to a question. Hina Ninyo. Let's relate to Hina Matsuri. Um, so. Short answer, I don't know. Uh, slightly more nuanced answer. Uh, Hina Matsuri was the name of an anime that I really, really liked. But I don't. Hang on, let me Google search these things and I'll see if I can provide. Oh! Oh, that's what that's called. Okay, yeah. All right, so I do know what that is. I just didn't know that was the name of it. Okay, I see. So this is actually new knowledge to me as well. So the Hina Ningyo is the is the multi-tier uh, platform thing. Uh, Hina Matsuri is a festival on March 3rd that translates to like Girls' Day or Dolls' Day or something like that. And the Hina Ningyo is where you display dolls. Like, that's the... That's, like, the, the fixture. Think of it like the Christmas tree or the or the, the jack-o'-lantern for that holiday. I'd heard of these things before, but I didn't know that that's actually, like, what they were supposed to be about. Anyhow. Back to the wind shaman of Hawaii. Hope my husband didn't cause you too much trouble. No trouble at all. He's from Japan and he has a musician friend who needs wind for his music video. Isn't that a ridiculous set of coincidences to have all happened at the exact same time in this place at this specific moment and contained entirely within your kitchen. I'd like to go give him some help if you'll indulge me. A musician all the way from Japan. I feel like in Hawaii that shouldn't be that impressive. 
Get them lots and lots of wind, dear. Well, he, no, actually, he has to do it. Nah. All right, how? I'll explain later. Carry the box. Okay, where exactly will you be situated? Are there any prominent buildings close oh. by? Uh, Eastern Edge, by, by the juicery. Oh. Okay, so that means direction to the sea would be carry the two. I right, got it. Jana. Guess you gotta be on your game when it comes to spirits and magic bullshit. time we get into this stupid bullshit and I, f I spin the camera around and these three jokers are just standing around like hey can we go now it cracks me up every time like seriously like the fucking Just the way they're standing. It was different when Kiryu was in the was in the crew. Because when when Kiryu was in the party, like I could Oh hey, you wanna go to Dundoko Island? I'm trying to come up with a <laughs> new trick. Blocked like an X's number. Cool. We recruited the crazy taxi guy. Okay, fuck you. You're literally street performers. It is a show, dipshit. Like, fuck off. It literally is a show. Okay, so would it have been e simpler to get an industrial fan? Yes, it absolutely would have. However, um, Fucking Wind Shaman is a better plan than what they've got going right now. So, I mean, we had to try something. Anyway, when Kiryu was in the party, you could just look at Kiryu and just explain that away as he's just being like, oh, su sub story? Yeah, sub story. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I get it. Been there. Been there hundreds of times. I should tell him about a shaman. Ew. あ、例の風待ち歌手ってのは。ん誰だあんたこの人。トーマスだ。よろしくな。あ、今なんて言った。ウイニングシャーマン。ねえ。風の精霊専門らしくてな。そう。Like a wizard of wind magic. 
I know I I I've played enough fucking Dragon Quest to know what a wizard is. I like that this guy is not ジャーマンなんて聞いたことねえし、ぶっ飛んだ。あ、Operation Fan Blast, is, you're just killing your staff. You've been standing here doing this like idiots for like 20 minutes. Thomas, this had better be an outfit that I can wear after this. Where is like the recording equipment? Oh, they actually have it under the, um, under the umbrella. I thought they were just going to hand wave that shit. They actually do have a camera. Uh-huh. Okay. Arms up, kneel down 20 times. Oh, fuck! Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stop! Um. I. Easy. <laughs> Wait, Extend arms, get sexy. I if I feel like I'm being scammed. Clearly. Clearly, the number of times doesn't matter. Is he? Make your wish for a storm. Break this! <laughs> This is not breakdancing. Come on, big storm. One The spirits are real! Wind shamans forever! <laughs> you fuckers should have been in position 10 minutes ago! 
トーマスさんあありがとう最高の撮影ができたぜまさに僕たちが求めていたシチュエーションです早く編集しなきゃ正直さっき数々の時間を内心諦めかけてたんだ日本に帰って,てこれで撮影しようかなと思ってたけどシャーマンとかセレクトのニーてでも最後まで諦めないで謎の踊りをし続けた春日さんマジでかっこよかったぜ本当にあんな風が吹くなんて信じる力ってやつなのかなトーマスさんもマジで助かった Hold up! Hold up! You moved the wind through sheer sexiness. Guess that's the power of faith. Alright, I need to find that faith because that's the good fucking faith. Breakers? Oh, I don't have that job yet. So I guess we're gonna get that job again. It was in seven, so I'm not that surprised, but. I'd kind of forgotten about how fucking stupid Adachi looked in that bucket hat. Is it okay that the wind's not easing up? Big storm! Stop! <laughs> 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 It's in It's in plain view of everything. That was stupid. Let's go talk to the child. Kid, let's talk about why you like war. <laughs> you can't just like like line number one. Fucking child surgery. Goddamn Golan Golem Gunwolf is going to have to take a Make a Wish Foundation job. Huh? I bet it'll hurt and I might die. That's scary. This is best for you, Pete. If you don't go through the surgery, your illness will only get worse. Don't you want to get better? Mm. I want to get better, but I also don't want to maybe die. Go back to the car without me. I'm going to stand here and get some fresh air. What? Why? 
I guess to get in the car. But that reads oddly. Don't throw the car keys in the river. I'm scared and I don't want to die. Oh yeah, no, this is this is the right ambiance for this conversation, isn't it? I was gonna just walk away and be like, nah, too heavy for me, but Sniffle sniffle. Oh. The rain stopped. Hey, you good? Who are you? I'm a stranger. I overheard the two of you talking, obviously in English, and I got curious about your potentially fatal illness. So now I'm going to ask you questions about it. Nothing about this is strange at all. Were you with Mr. Golem earlier? Soda. Yes, I was with Mr. Golem. So... You dying? So. Yeah! I have that, I have that weird, like, weak child anime anemia disease. Now it's reached its limit, and they're sending me to a hospital in Texas for a major surgery. Why? Of all the places. I'm scared, and I can't be brave, and I know I have to do it. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Maybe I can help. Like, it's not like the Texas has like no health care, but I'm just like, that was an alarm to remind me to take my medicine. <laughs> Damn, dry swallows? Well, yeah, you're supposed to take that with water. It's not that there's not any, like, clinics or anything in Texas. I'm just saying, they're in Hawaii. And they have to fly over the entirety of California to get to Texas. Was, was there no place, like, between Hawaii and Texas that might not... I guess it depends, right? We don't know what he's got. That was pretty hardcore, my dude. Was that? So that was Mr. Golem. I love this song, if you can call it that. I usually end up sick, so I don't get to leave my house very often. But I could hear Mr. Golem playing this while shouting in the empty lot nearby. The neighbors did not like that. My mom said he was being obnoxious, but she just doesn't get it. If you pay attention... <laughs> if you pay attention to the lyrics somehow, you'd know that he's actually singing about the joy and passion you find in life. And that gave me the courage to keep going. 
<laughs> I always listen to you before going to the hospital. <laughs> Even though he said he doesn't do wild rock anymore, I still support him in the music he wants to make now. But before I have to leave for surgery, I want to listen to Mr. Golem play live one more time. Wow, that's really heartwarming and stuff. So He's my hero and his songs cheer me up. Matthew called Wild Rock his dark past, said it didn't give anyone courage. But he was wrong. What are you still doing here? In the place that I told you to stay until I got your medicine. Taking such a long time to get back to the car, I got worried. I don't understand the sequence of events here. Were you not going in to the building to get medicine? What did you then come out of the building and not see that he was like 10 feet away from where he was initially and then go all the way to the car? Donna. All right, I gotta go. I wonder where Matthew is now. I bet the map will tell us. The map has indeed told us. He's at a pawn shop in Chinatown. And I feel like that has dire, I feel like that has dire implications. Oh, he's thinking about it. Oh, he's looking at the, he's thinking about it. He's looking at the guitars. Yes. What are you thinking, buddy? You, you considering it? You need me to spot you some cash? I am carrying like $65,000 in cash for some reason. Oh, is that just your guitar? That really looks like it was your guitar. Ew. Ichiban, that's not... That's not how you... That's not like the intended purpose of a guitar. Hey! Who would have thought we'd meet in a place like this? Now you got a ukulele, you're buying a guitar? Yeah. Nope, gonna play, keep playing the ukulele. Wouldn't, won't ever pick this guitar up. <clears throat> Let's try that again. I won't ever pick up this guitar again. This guitar? This was my guitar, yeah, it, it, clearly. Yeah, the Wild Rock one. And you pawned it to buy a uke? Eh? <laughs> what was that, like, a year ago and still nobody's bought it? Yeah. <clears throat> Wasn't anything expensive in the first place, and I got a little crazy with the customizations. Figures it wouldn't be worth much. Oh, hey! Did you know there's a dying kid whose last wish is to hear you play your dumb shit? <laughs> Here it is. There it is! Yeah, let's go! I'm surprised we didn't get it with the kid. I need to check something real quick. Yakuza Zero release date. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. Cool. Uh-huh, yeah. March... Uh... March 2015. So, yes. Cool. This piece of music is like nine years old. And we are still using it like it's the fucking main theme of Zelda. Anyway, remember that kid who said he liked your music? I talked to him more. He's real sick and he can't leave his home. So your fucking, like, noise music, I guess he liked it. It may or may not have been because his mom hated it and he was just being like... He was just being, like, rebellious and shit, but... I mean... Look, Chaos, theme of sad is strong. It does do the job. And I will always champion RGG's, like, particular method of, like, shameless asset reuse. Character models, animations, music, art, textures, fucking UI elements, mini games. There's no reason in a game this big to not just lift those things and keep carrying them forward as long as they keep working. Because by doing that, you open yourself up to put more man hours into actual good shit. Like, important stuff. New side stories. New, like, new minigame bullshit. Like... You could put more time, like, take time out of the menial tasks of recreating something that you already made just to make it a little bit shinier and put that time instead into making, like, actual real content. Now, if they had a habit of, like, putting out retread games that didn't have enough, like, new content, then I would be, like not as big of a fan of it but you can see that they're like it's a really efficient method of game development because they're just saving work on things they don't have to redo that shit's all in there just leave it we can still use it the last game came out three years ago why does it need to be redone With the time that some people would spend redoing all the textures to have more detail, we can make a new map and Animal Crossing. Go! Anyway, the kid's dying and he heard your rock and he was like, that's cool. Really? Yeah, but he's leaving for treatment. He's got a major surgery and he's scared and he can't be brave. I ain't gonna tell you what you should, should or shouldn't do, but you should do it though. Matthew is super into Wild Rock is pretty cool. I never saw him and he's he might be cringe, but like the kid wants that, <laughs> so... Even if people make fun of him, calling him lame or whatever, someone who cheers up kids is one stand-up dude in my book. I have one day you can embrace your past and be proud of who you are. Because you're an awesome musician. <laughs> you're nice. I have some business. I'd like for you to come to my next concert with that kid. I'm about to piss this record deal away. Ah. 